Okay, this one's a doozy. I'm glad I have a student who uh, is sending me some suggested problems that I can help you with. And uh, if, if they struggled with it, maybe you are too. Maybe that's why you're tuning into this video. So this is problem number four on page 17. And uh, it says the perimeter of a rectangular field is <clears throat> 60 and the area is 200 and it's in meters, 200 square meters. So we know that the formula for area is length times width and that was on a preceding page if you need to look back to get that. And perimeter is of course length plus width plus length plus width, the distance around the edge. And so we have two widths and two lengths that we have to add together. Now, <clears throat> Let's, um, let's solve this one for, let's say, solve for the length, okay? So we know that the area is 200, and that's going to be equal to the length times the width. So if I divide both sides by the width, now I have an expression that says the length is this thing, 200 over W. Okay, now that's just the first step. We're not, we haven't really found anything yet. But now I can take that expression for length. Okay, I'll put parentheses around it. Bring it over here and plug it in. So I know the perimeter is 60. I always like to do it on the right. Okay, so I'm going to say 2. I'm actually start with, uh, yeah, two times the length, but we know that the length is 200 over W plus 2W, and then here I'm going to do the equal 60. Okay, so two times the length, but I substituted 200 over W for L plus the 2W equals the 60 that they told us was in the problem. Okay, are you with me? Now when I distribute this out, I get 400 over W plus 2W over 6 equals 60. But I need to get rid of this W. So to get rid of the W in the denominator, we need to multiply everything in the equation um, by W. Okay? So this will cancel against this and I'll get 400 plus 2w squared, because w times w is w squared, equals 60w. Now, this we recognize we have a squared term in there, so this is called a quadratic equation. So to solve those, we need to get everything on the left, set it equal to zero, and then we're going to set up two parentheses, okay? So when I bring that over, I want to put this first. 2w squared, bring over the minus 60w, plus 400, equals zero. Now because we have a leading coefficient of two, I can divide everything by two. And that will make our problem a little simpler. w squared minus 30w plus 200 equals zero. Now, we're going to set up two parentheses, okay? And I'm going to let you finish this. So basically you're putting W in here, you're finding two numbers that multiplied together will give you positive 200, and that'll give you two numbers that when you add them will give you negative 30 in the middle. And then you set each of these equal to zero, because since this whole thing equals zero, Okay, then that we can set this quantity equal to zero, set this quantity equal to zero, and we can get two different values for W. Now, I want to show you one thing here. I was looking at the score key, and all the way through, they keep the units in, M for meters. I think that just is confusing, okay? You don't need to do that. Um, when you get to the end, since the whole problem is in meters, just express your answer in meters. But I would not recommend keeping M because then it gets confused with all the W's and there's too many letters and it's just confusing. So just focus on the numbers, okay, and solving for the width. Once you know the width, okay, you can plug that in and solve for the length, okay, 
and plug in 60 over here and you can solve for the length and then you can go back over here and be, you should be able to use the same width and length and solve <clears throat> and find the, um, the area. So of these two answers, I'm thinking one of them is not going to actually work. Um, you can get two answers and when you plug it in, one will work and the other won't. Actually, no. Looks like they both you get two different, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> so finish that one. I think, uh, I think you have enough information here. You should be able to solve that and uh, get that correct.